Hi, it's Denise here, um, howtostayfitover50.com, or my travel blog is denisesanger.com. But today, let's talk about back pain after a hysterectomy, okay? Now, if you've been with me any length of time, you'll know that my hysterectomy was well over 10 years ago. I'm trying to think. It's probably, probably closer to 11 or 12 years now. I'd have to really look it up. I'm 62 now, and I had that hysterectomy in my early 50s, so probably 11 years or so now since that time. And I, they tried to do the vaginal with the incisions, the three incisions that didn't work, so I was literally cut hip to hip. I personally have not had back pain, so I want to say that up front. But a lot of women that I've talked to, that is an issue that they have had, so I've done some research with it. I apologize for being off of this channel for so long, but I just am coming back from my second hip replacement. The left hip was replaced about nine months ago, and two months ago, I had the right hip replaced, so I am now double bionic. <laughs> I 100% believe that is a direct result of my hysterectomy. But today we're talking about back pain. So if you do not get up and get moving fairly quickly after your hysterectomy, you can start to lose strength in your spine and your back. The other issue is, which is very important to keep in mind, when you have your uterus and your ovaries removed, things are not the same in there, okay? Because your uterus does help support your spine. Now, I firmly believe the reason that I didn't have this issue is because I'm a yoga teacher and I'm also a Pilates instructor. And I truly believe core strength is what saved my back. But that being said, when um, I have had everything removed, including the cervix, that being said, I do experience incontinence. So if I am even a simple jumping jack, or sometimes even when I'm teaching Zumba, I get a gush of urine. So I that's my experience because there's nothing to hold my bladder up where it was. And I really don't want to go back under surgery if I don't have to, especially coming out of this last one because my brain is still not right cognitively. But if I have to go in and get that hammock put in, I guess I would, but I'm hoping I don't have to. But it's the same thing as a back pain. So when they remove your uterus, for my case, it's there's no support for the bladder. And if you're if you are dealing with back pain, that uterus is no longer supporting the spine. So what do you do? Well, first of all, if you are early stages since your hysterectomy, you should be up and moving. You should be walking, okay? Something, you gotta get up and get moving somehow. The other thing is you do need to, um, when you're released, of course, it's gotta be six plus weeks. And until that point, you can really only, um, do the walking or whatever the doctor releases you to do. But once you're released, you need to focus on strengthening that core. Both yoga and Pilates will do that. And as we get older, that is something you really, really, really need to focus on is core strength. And the core, don't forget, is not just your belly, okay? The core is shoulder to hip, front and back. That's what you need to really focus on. Um, the other thing that I need to talk to you about, my dog over here thinks that I'm talking to her, but the other thing you really need to focus on is strengthening the back as well as strengthening the front, okay? Because your back is, as you're probably figuring out, weaker than the front. So that's where the back pain comes in. So as soon as your doctor releases you to start doing some type of exercises, of course, you know, listen to your doctor first and then start slow. Don't go in there. It's like, it's like you start running today, you ran a quarter of a mile and you register for a marathon tomorrow. It doesn't work that way, especially after when you're dealing with the first off beginning before you have the hysterectomy, then 
during the hysterectomy than after the hysterectomy, you've got to give your body time, okay? Be kind to yourself. Please, please, please be kind to yourself. I'll put a link below in the comments section of the programs I follow. Of course, I am a teacher. I'm a yoga teacher. I'm a fitness instructor. I'm a senior fitness instructor. And uh, at 62, I'm a senior. But my main goal is to stay strong because I have places to go and things to do. I hope you do too. All right, I'm gonna to try to get back on weekly with this. I apologize, but this second hip replacement, after the first hip replacement and trying to get everything done kind of really threw me off a whack with this YouTube channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. I will chat with you soon. Bye.